Welcome back to From an Educator. In today's episode, I call this birthday obligation. And there's some kids screaming outside. But uh, yeah, I've already had to record this many times. So I'm just going to keep going with this. Okay. Yeah. Yes, it is my birthday. It's that time of year that I uh, somewhat loathe. I'll talk about that. But also about current events and yeah, the stress <laughs> of an unending schedule. Hmm. I'll see you soon. Welcome back, everybody, to From an Educator. I'm Mr. James, an educator. And yeah, back with another week recap of what's been going on. So this is From an Educator. And if you're new to this channel, uh, I'm basically a, an educator. I'm Mr. James, an educator in Maine. And I uh, talk about things that educators want to talk about, as well as my life and some of the many things that I do. But not just that, also amazing things that I'm interested in, which span everything from human longevity, science, um, sometimes music, and whatever. I'm a professional musician. I've been so for many, many years. Uh, and I'm a teacher and teacher in our music as well as other things, dance, and yeah, social psychologist, you know, for my degrees and such. And yeah, I guess a podcaster as well. I mean, this is episode 76, so I'm hoping by now that I am a podcaster. Whew, what a week. So by the way, if you're watching this and you're seeing me, uh, this is how I've been dressing for my uh, classes. Uh, I'm dressing as a person from the late Victorian, early Edwardian period. Let's see, early 1900s, late 1800s. I am having suspenders on. You see, I've got the tie. I've got the tie clip. I get the pocket square, which is a recent addition. And this is folded into the presidential fold. Look that up. There's many different ways to fold this. There's many ways to tie a tie. I'm still using the, I believe it's called the half Oxford, but I'll get better. And that's the thing. Learn, learn more ways to do things like this. Why do the Victorians have so many pieces of silverware? Why was it a certain fork for here, a certain spoon for there? It was some tradition, right? But it's also this sort of like standard that you set. I do have a ring on, but it is not just any ring. This is actually something that's more like silicone, but I keep it on my middle finger, my left hand, and that signifies power, I guess, masculinity, control. I know. <laughs> Look at all that symbolism in there. Yeah, well, this specific thing is just so I can show students which hand's the left hand, which hand's the right hand, because I have to do that all throughout the day with instruments, so I have to wear a ring don't really like wearing rings, but you know, that's not such a bad thing anyways. And the presidential pocket square today, presidential, is because it's my birthday today. But other than that, nothing has changed. It's still a long, long day uh, at the school I'm at, and a lot of material, and a lot of students that you're barely on the edge keeping everything together. So I dress like this because I want to show them that I uh, have get everything together. And sorry, I was interrupted. <laughs> That's been happening a lot lately. One of the big things on your birthday uh, is being uh, constantly notified by people. Hey, it's your birthday. Yes, thank you. It's my birthday. Yes. Not something I, I really enjoy anyways, but I've been busy anyways, all the time. But I want to put a little ray of sunshine in here today because I don't want to have the new usual somewhat pessimistic, although my reigning optimism, as you might have heard in previous episodes, if you did not hear that, listen to that episode, watch that episode. I'm dressed much differently. Uh, yeah, I like to uh, talk about this a little bit. I did want to mention that uh, currently at the school, it's kind of a mess. I, I feel like teachers, I feel like we may hear about striking pretty soon for some, some districts. Um, 
it's the students, you know, there's a lot of trouble with some students and someone mentioned to me in one district, and I don't know if it was a principal or a superintendent or something where they is already, you know, it's, it's a month, a little over a month in, uh, some places, you know, barely a month. Uh, they've already had to expel 64 students from the school, from a school, like what? I don't know if it's just one school or it might be a district, but that's still, wow. Wow. So I don't know what's going on with, uh, with other schools in my district. Uh, I'm sure people aren't gelling, right? We're back. No more cohorts. Everyone's like pushed together. Class sizes are large. No one has their space anymore. No one can be heard as much as they did in the past. So it's just troubling all around and we're just trying to deal with it. And uh, yeah, so I have to be extra fast. I've been losing weight. I don't really want to, but I, I'm not able to eat enough calories throughout the day. So I've been finding ways to, to bake more so I can eat more and just, you know, shovel it in when I can, because I'm going, I have things to do. And Fortunately, you get an idea and you want to go with it and you don't realize that it takes a lot of different materials or effort, but I will always put it in, you know, as the case today, which I, I, I did every Wednesday for me, and this is a Wednesday, currently October 6, uh, when I try everything new with uh, a set of classes and then that basically becomes the beginning of my week. And I did that today and seems to go over somewhat well. Um, you know, always wondering what I can do. And you keep wondering, you like, I have a long time, you know, the whole year, but you really don't. Time flies. And when students only see you once a week, you really want to have a big impact. And so you can't be tired. You can't be having a bad day yourself. You can't be hungry. You can't be, I have to go to the bathroom. You can't be any of that. You have to be an on, you know, amazing teacher that is uh, definitely uh, excited and ready for anything that might be coming. And that's basically why I have to dress like this. This kind of helps me, helps my theme in my room. And yeah, hopefully they look at me and they see a professional. They see someone that dresses differently than anybody else. And they go, wow, that person is going to put on some somewhat of a show for me, but also I know I can trust that person because dressing like that's not something anybody can do. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll do more of this. This is my pre-shower after school day. So birthday obligation. Honestly, I did want to do a podcast with Mr. Richie this week, and that is the co-host of We Are the Educators. I almost said from an educator. That's what this show is. And he's busy, and because it's Wednesday, he's incredibly busy, and he has uh, some curriculum he's following, which is materials heavy, which is always STEM. He's materials heavy, so he is busy and cannot do that so we're gonna to have to set that off and there's something really big we want to discuss with that but we'll get to that at some point um i just want to talk because today is my birthday and i'm alone in a house i just got back from a eight or nine hour day at the school um and cleaning up and i have some homework I have to do tonight for a graduate class. I've got an incredible schedule filled with whatever. I have to look at it. I really don't want to. I feel like I have a few minutes here and there and I want to get things done. And I wanted to get this podcast done because I, I want to make sure that any listener out there that can use this advice I might have or maybe share some interest in what I'm talking about, that I'm there for them. And it's show number 76. I don't want to miss a week. And I know everything I've been late with, I want to kind of keep it consistent. So it is my birthday. I hate to <laughs> hate to talk about numbers, but I just turned 43. Ooh. But I want to look like I'm like 29, right? Maybe the, the haircut, someone kind of, it was kind of like a little shorter, maybe than I I'm used to. But yeah, it's uh, when you're running around a lot, 
not having to manage hair is a good thing. That's basically it. But yes, I hate birthdays. And it's because for one part, I'm a giver, not a receiver. I love to give to others. I like to make sure they're happy. I always would mention to people and they'd say, you know, you should be in this relationship with this person or something like that. You need to, you deserve to be happy. You deserve this and that. And I said, you know, I'm the person when two people are on a date and eating at a restaurant, I'm the person playing violin for them there to make their time more special. I'm not the person sitting at the table eating dinner with somebody else. I'm the person serving others, a servant leader. And you can look that up. It's servant hyphenated leader. Uh, but I'd rather give than receive. So when it comes time to a, a obligation that I have to have a day when yes, this day's for me because other holidays are not for me. I'm able to give on other holidays and it has nothing to do with me. On a day that is supposed to be about me, I feel I am obligated to uh, kind of step up in that position of thanking everybody and thank, say thank you and trying to receive everything the best possible way I can, because that's my way of trying to give back to them. But it's not easy. I do not like getting old by a number, even though I, um, you know, we know a schedule you might have heard on here, me waking up daily, very early to work out of uh, supplements, of, you know, my schedule of just maintaining being healthy. Uh, this cake that you may see on the screen for those looking is uh, a search I did. I wrote vegan cake. Boom. There it is. Yes. I've been a vegan for two and a half years, maybe more. And probably five years before that I was mostly. Um, and yet, you know, I, uh, everyone gets older. And we're hoping that we age gracefully and we stay healthy. And in my case, I'm hoping that we find a way for humans to live indefinitely. And I want to be on that cusp. I want to talk about that science. I'm really more interested in that than the other things I do. Yes, I play music, multifaceted musician. I play all of these different things. I can go on and on about that, but I, I don't want to toot my own horn or play my own chord on a guitar. I would rather say that I'm doing that because it was able to make me money and I'm able to share others this gift of something that seems magical called music. Uh, but otherwise, you know, if, you're, if you don't have your health in your life, what do you have? You're not playing music, right? You're not going to take any of this material stuff with you, you know, if you pass on. It's just not one of those things. So that's why I don't put a lot of like emphasis on that. Uh, you know, I understand music. Great. If you want, people want to hear it. They don't want to hear it, whatever. I, I have other channels on YouTube as far as music is concerned. I haven't recorded in a long time, but I've have some old stuff. So I can always put that in show notes somewhere. You can look that up, but that's not really what I'm all about because I don't want to be, uh, someone dedicated just to arts and not thinking about the entire picture of a planet where humans inhabit and we're running out of resources and we're running out of so many other things that can keep us alive and we're ruled by myths and superstitions and not by skeptical critical thinking and that's what i am about so that probably makes it great that I'm an educator because I do want people to be critical about everything they think about, they, what ideas that they hear about. And yeah, critical even about my class because I'm critical about it too. So birthday today, I'm going to feign interest in my birthday. Uh, honestly, the only thing I really look forward to is if I had time to not have to do anything and maybe read something. <laughs> Literally, just to sit back and read and not have to do anything. But that's not going to happen today or maybe in the next three or four days or maybe a week and a half. Who knows? I find moments throughout the day here and there where I can have a chance to rest. Uh, and, my, and the resting being doing something else that I actually 
kind of enjoy rather than uh, focusing on something that I have to do for work and what other obligation I have. And you should do that. You should always find a play time to rest. Uh, I still work uh, from meal to meal and that's the best way I've got rather than, you know, follow my schedule. I'm looking forward to what I'm eating next. And that makes it sort of positive to get through the day. But uh, by the skin of my teeth, that's how it works. So I wanted to mention, uh, because birthdays are kind of these traditions we hold, right? Uh, and people learn about them. And it's usually not you that does anything with it. Traditions aren't for you. They're for others. You celebrate a tradition because it's been celebrated and that's what a tradition is, right? It's something you do yearly or a certain time, you know, every, whenever, whatever schedule you have for that. But I realize that even on my birthday, I am doing this for others because they want to be happy. My mother wants to see me, you know, someone wants to call me. I need to acknowledge that they called me. Thank you. You did a good job for thanking me for, for wishing me a happy birthday. Great. I acknowledge it. Thank you. That's great. And it's the lip service we hear so often. Uh, nobody at my job today knew it was my birthday. Great. I couldn't care less. It's not a, a big deal. I don't, I wouldn't expect anything. Uh, they could have given me a cake uh, baked with eggs and wheat you know, I'm, I've been gluten-free for eight years and that would have not been something I can eat at all. And I would feign interest in receiving that too. And it's not that I have to receive anything. Uh, it's a fact that a lot of people, the effort they put in is, uh, is the effort of their obligation to do something. And you know, you get this on Facebook all the time, right? Someone's birthday, wish them a happy birthday, do it. You have to do it. And I missed... I missed someone else had a birthday the other day and a really nice person I know, and I missed their birthday. And then what did I get today? A message from them. Uh, and the wall of my Facebook is even shut down because I don't even use it. I don't, I don't post on Facebook and I don't want people to post on mine because that's the way when they try to link me to something else, I have nothing to do with it. I, I want nothing to do with that. It's, I basically keep it for gigs. I keep it so people can contact me for whatever gigs that I have to do because it's it's a way that I can then keep up, me updated with what I have to do when I have to do things. So, but honestly, yeah, it's business. What is not in my life, honestly? So people celebrate anyways, anything. So they're not going to be sad, right? We celebrate our birthday, so yay, we got older and people get together and you can see people and say, yes, I appreciate you and this and that. And that, and that to me, that's great, right? That is great that people can get together and, and, and see each other uh, so that they're not sad because I guess a life without celebration is kind of sad, right? Uh, but sometimes celebrating makes me sad uh, every year. And it's, here's the thing, I don't even, I, even if no one mentioned it was my birthday, I, every year when it turns fall, when things start getting cooler, my favorite time of year, I get that little tinge of like, something doesn't feel right. I get a little bit of sadness, like another year is going away. And it just so happens my birthday happens then. And it's just this sad feeling of like, I'm older. You know, what's coming up next? And I'm great with planning and I'm great with, with making my life the way I want it, but you never know what's ahead. Now, I have been thinking about uh, my current position, what I do for work and how, you know, definitely not respected, definitely not uh, appreciated. And I'm doing 10 times the work I, I feel than, than others are doing, you know, and they may be doing things in different ways, but I think I'm just taking everything I do to a, another level but I'm sure everyone else feels like that anyways. Um, but, you know, what would make me happy? It's a question I, I keep asking myself. What would make me happy? Would it be great to be around other professionals uh, that are just working on something greater than themselves and not just the teaching of, of, of younger 
uh, children or, or just in students in general? What about working on problems that'll solve the world? It's problems, so you solve the human problems, human issues, you know, working in labs, curing cancers, diseases, working on humans living longer. I mean, things like that, that I think are major issues. And I feel like I'm outside of this because I talk about it, but I'm just like, I'm the outside. Look what I do. Not even on the radar of any of anyone else. And so I keep thinking about that. And I don't know uh, if it's going to push me into a certain direction, but I'm putting it out there that I, I would you know, pique my, in, it would pique my interest to find something that could get me into that. And I would be, you know, more appreciated and more, you know, useful in a position where I could use, you know, my voice, use my talents uh, on something I feel is a, is a greater need and something that could benefit me more in the long run. Because I do see the track record of, of being in a certain position, especially a position I'm in, uh, for many, many years and what the result is. Uh, my mentor basically retired uh, and not in the way that she wanted to uh, for this, this school. And I saw what she had to go through the last few years. And you know, that's a 25, 30 year you know, position, and then it's done. And what do you have to show for it? And I mean, and there's a lot of things. There's a lot of things. And I don't want to go into that and, and, and mentioning how teaching is, is related to whatever that, but it's, you have to look at what everything you do and what it does for you. And then is it useful to you? Do you feel like you're making a difference? And that for me, it was always been like that. And I've done that with every instrument I play. I've done that with every concert I play. Am I making a difference? If I'm making a difference, it's important. It's why I do some of the shows I do. That's why I'm in a ballet for the fifth year, fourth, fifth year, I think, uh, because it's it's helping others. It's helping others. I'm I'm a part of a of a, of a bigger thing, and it's it's a major thing. Uh, but it's got to do something. It's got to do something for you at the end of the day. And I'm wondering, you know, this year is one of those things where things are coming together. And at the same time, I'm finding myself kind of drifting away. And so we'll see how that ends up. I'm not going to be any less professional than I am. I mean, look at this. This hasn't changed. This is the sixth week of school. And I'm, and I'm basically every day, it's a different outfit. Uh, and it's a different look but from the same time period. <clears throat> I have the hat, I have the cane as well, if anyone's wondering there. So, so I'm still optimistic. Life is still difficult. It's not easy <laughs> to be a teacher now. There's a lot of things going on with students that have been gone. There's, it's just, it's, it's too much, especially for having a birthday or having anything to celebrate that I could easily break away my mind from what I've done, what I've been doing and go into, oh, celebration mode. Let's forget about it. I'm just not that person. I don't turn things off like that. Everything kind of has to be interwoven together and have meaning. And that's, that's really important to me. And so if I find that I can't sleep more than six hours a night, even though I want to, even though this little thing right here from Amazon keeps telling me that it's fair if you sleep, you know, six to seven hours. If you want good, you have to sleep more than that. And I'm tired of getting the fair, you know, rating every morning. Um, but I have things in my mind and I wake up and I solve problems and, I, and I, I see them in action. And sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. And I go back to the drawing board and it's every single day trying to make things better. And it's me against me. And this is without anyone criticizing me, evaluating me, but I know that's going to be coming up. And uh, it, the question is, how much do I want to accept from that camp that doesn't understand where I'm coming from? Because, oh, 
there are so many episodes they can listen to to find out about who I am, but they're not going to do it. A lot of effort people don't put in other people. And that's what happens on birthdays. Say happy birthday to somebody. It's as easy as asking, how's the weather? How are you doing? Do you really mean it? I know it's just small talk, but honestly, we don't get into people's lives enough. And this is why we live in fear of other people. We really don't get into enough to know somebody. And then when we know somebody a little bit more, how do we handle them? I've been in enough relationships where I've wanted to dig deeper and I haven't found a lot. And someone would always hold on to something, but it wasn't anything that was, I felt maybe not that important, but they wanted that for the tiny little bit of mystery. Well, I was just pumping gas today and I saw so many people that seemed to wear their scars on their body. You know, they're open. And this is kind of like the, the way things work nowadays. Everyone's open to showing everything that's, that's going on with them. And I don't know. I think that's just, it's just the society is much different. But do you want everyone to know everything that's going on with you? Do you want to show everybody? Do you want to save some mystery? I like when people have mystery and they can keep revealing a little bit more about themselves rather than give everything out. You want to know that somebody has got some depth to them, right? I think nowadays people want to show everything and say, here it is. I'm open. I'm not. I only open a little bit every now and then for those. And for those that want to take a deep dive, it's, it's a deep, deep, deep place that we can go. And it just, it's infinitely deep. But that doesn't mean you can't appreciate somebody. It's worth getting to know somebody. It's worth getting to know what they care about. I guess that's my, my big takeaway from all this stuff that, uh, you know, I've, I'm obligated to celebrate my birthday. Uh, I just would love people to appreciate me for who I really am and actually want to learn more about who I really am rather than throw some words at me and uh, do themselves a good deed. Is that too much to ask? Well, thank you for joining me on the show. Oh, it says number 75 here, but it meant, I meant 76. Yeah, last slides always got a mistake, right? Oh, I kept the color the right way. Thank you for joining me. Uh, you can subscribe, you can like. I'm honestly more concerned if people would just respond to anything like this. And if I mention something that uh, sort of you relate to, that would be great. And I'm hoping I'm helping somebody else out there. Um, I'm still gonna, I guess, celebrate. I, uh, I'm hoping that means take a shower and maybe look at a book, but I actually have uh, some homework to attend to right now. And yeah, I'm hoping that we can continue this at least through episode 100 and more than that. And it's uh, going to be coming up on, I think, uh, well, not quite a year and a half. We'll see, a couple months to that. But yeah, probably should start doing some milestones for that as well. Go back and listen to some of the first episodes that are on the podcast. Uh, and see what you think about that when two people were just new at doing this sort of thing and now it became I guess mostly a solo act but soon we'll have some guests and that might put a smile on my voice for those listening yeah anyways please take care of yourselves uh, and care to know somebody it's important See ya.